All right, so here we are just out front of 1707 Patriots. So this is two beds, two bath, two car garage, 1,188 square feet. This is just off of Kilgore or 32 in Yorktown. So here I'll give you a quick shot of the neighborhood. There's a little pond right through that way. Nice size side yard. As we go into the interior here, you'll notice there's some stuff laying around. It needs a good cleaning. Um, it's been sitting empty for a little over a year now, so they still have some personal property items to uh, remove from the house. All right, so we are just inside the front door. It's your fireplace. There's the front door where we entered. Right off the front uh, entrance is the kitchen. Just final flooring in here in the kitchen. You just have a dishwasher, a range, which is electric, microwave, refrigerator. Nice extra shelving here, just off of the eating kitchen area. I do believe the appliances would be included. Here's your mechanical room and your laundry room. So you can see water softener. Washer and dryer, hot water heater, and the furnace. Furnace looks like it's a little bit older. Um, hot water heater, I'm not sure on the age. Those typically last about 15 years. So right off the kitchen here is the garage. So it's a two-car garage. Nice storage space there. You can see they still have quite a few items to get out of here. There's a refrigerator out here. I'm not sure if that is included or not. Also, there is a space heater, gas space heater. This is one way that you can get out to the back enclosed um, patio. So back into the kitchen here. There's the front door where we entered. So nice wide hallways. Coat closet there. You can see some wallpaper and you can see where she had a lot of items hung here. So you have a lot of nail holes to uh, repair. Obviously this wallpaper, that's gonna be hard. So you may want to have that removed or redone. So two bedrooms. So one here, which also has access to the enclosed patio. There's a linen closet, bathroom, and then another bedroom with a in-suite bathroom. So let's begin over here in bedroom one. They're using this kind of as a den or office area. Some built-in shelving. There's your closet space. A 
And then this is the patio area. So each unit has a little fenced in patio area. And so she paid here to have uh, this enclosed. There's a little space heater out here. I believe that's AC as well. And then we'll go back here and double check on this unit to see if I can tell if it's Yeah, it's uh, heat and cooling. I just wanted to make sure it was both. Again, this goes into the garage. This goes back into the bedroom. And I'll show you if you go out this door here. This has multiple doors all around it with screens that you can open. If I can get out this door, I'll show you. That's a hallway that goes to the exterior, so the side yard that we were that we were looking at. So back into bedroom number one. Here's the main bathroom. And then here is bedroom number two, or most likely the bedroom that you would use as the master bedroom. So again, it needs some cleaning. Um, floor is really dusty and dirty. There are some stains on the floor here. I'm not sure if that would come up with a carpet cleaner or if you would need to have the carpet replaced. And there's a pocket door here to the main bathroom. And then a nice walk-in shower with no step up, which is nice. You can see it does need cleaned. Probably could use a new shower head, probably a new vent up top as well These are all pretty easy fixes And there you have it. We're back to the front door. Um, my guess is they'll probably be asking somewhere between 172 and 175. So there's a unit that was very similar to this, almost identical to this, that just recently sold for 172. Um, this one does have the enclosed patio area, which that one did not. So they may want to bump it up to 175. But of course, you could um, negotiate if you wanted on that. And I also think they would be pretty flexible on their timeline as well. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me a text and we'll talk soon. See ya.